Hey, it's Paul Case here. Look at this. I'm in a Bobcat 863. A little Dutch diesel in it. It pick up like 1,900 pounds, and we ballasted it with uh, about 200 pounds of weights or a little more, and so it'll pick up better than that. It is one of the older styles. It's got the one, and it's a radio lift, not a vertical. But it's a pretty good little skid steer. It's got no flat tires on it. I've owned this before, and I sold it to Scott years ago. And he's got to looking for him something heavier. But that's uh, uh, not what I'm here for. I wanted to tell you this is uh, spring break, 2024. Today's March 21st, I believe, Thursday. And... Uh, they had been predicting rain chances all week, and um, more conducive weather to being able to burn some. So I came over here a while ago and lit this brush pile up. This is the place Kevin and I first logged together at, and we cut all the rest of the wood off of this 20 acres and I've got a bunch of brush piles over here I'd like to burn they're they're good and dry I actually lit the leaves in this pile with butane torch but uh, it's a little too windy I wouldn't be able to control it if it got out in some standing grass and this is just a 20 acre strip that's a quarter mile long so it's it's got uh, woods on both sides of it that are unkept and uh, there's a bunch of fuel in them and I'm not wanting to light them on fire but I got a bunch of burning I need to do and they were saying it was going to be good for it and I go in and light this and I'm like oh it's way too windy uh, but I was able to control it here because the cows pretty well have everything eat down it got a little ways over toward that next pile over that way when I got it started and I was able to put it out I got my little sprayer on the back of my Gary the silver Chevy over there but uh, this pile looked about like that one when I started and now it's getting burned down pretty good I imagine it'll burn all night but I've got it pushed into where there's dirt all the way around it I'm gonna hang around here probably till nine o'clock and make sure it dies on down I was hoping the wind would lay but the, and they was talking about a chance of showers but the last uh, Last time I looked on their little radar thing, it showed that we weren't going to get nothing. We have been really dry here. Um, I'm betting right here in my locality, we've gotten less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Um, maybe since the second week of February. And here it is the third week of March, so... <clears throat> yeah these brush piles here they don't look like much and there's no dirt in them to speak of because we didn't push any of these that's over here out cut them all off it's just a brush off the top of the trees but uh, there's stumps in them we couldn't make a pile where there wasn't stumps and so those stumps are going to burn for days well my in-laws are gone all week this week to uh to visit my brother-in-law in kansas city because uh, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law's retired. My mother-in-law, she uh, subs, and uh, her school is off on spring break this week. And they use her a lot. She's good help. She's good help. Anyway. I'm just close enough I can feel a little bit of heat off that fire, but when the wind blows, it don't do too much for me. I'm thinking about selling these a couple of these bobcat machines. Uh, I uh, I really don't need a heavier machine for processing firewood, but it would be nice to have something better than what I've got. Uh, and I found a couple of uh, Bobcat S250s 
and then you're supposed to pick up about 2,500 pounds. And, um, one of them only has 3,300 hours on it. I was kind of thinking that maybe I'd be able to sell this skid steer and the New Holland one I've got and pick up a nicer one to make firewood with and uh, barn hay with. That barn and hay, the dirt off from it has gotten to really bother me whenever we do that. I just almost can't stand it. It'll uh, keep me up at night all night, hacking and sneezing and coughing and both of those S250s I found local here have a cab with heat and air conditioning. And man, that would be super nice in the wintertime making firewood to have a, a little heater and I wouldn't have to do anything else. I think they'll be fixed up just like this one was. Uh, this one has had windows before and they're made to where this part here slides back to where you can open the window. Uh, but, you know. And I think the S250 has the same motor as the 300. It's either the, I think it's the V300 uh, or V30. I can't remember that they have Kubota engine. And uh, the S300 I have has either that one or the one that's just bigger than it. I can't remember. I'm thinking of the same motor though. And the one in that S300 I have has been a good one. It's getting to where it's smoking a little bit, but it's got 6,000 hours on it. <clears throat> and that's kind of what I'm thinking about trying to do. I don't know if I can get it done or not. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of extra money just to pick up and trade two skid steers for one, but... The Little New Holland will pick up just 1,600 pounds. And I find pretty frequently there at the sawmill uh, would be nice to have something a little bit heavier than that. But anyway, uh, one of the S250s is at Carl Junction. The other one is at on Purple Wave at uh, Claremore, Oklahoma. A little more than an hour from here. I don't know. Man, it would be nice to have all this brush burned up. I'd be able to see. I've got a trail on the south side of this 20 acres that uh, it, the pipeline made for me that's smooth enough you can drive it. All the rest of this has holes and stumps. And if I could get these cleaned off, it sure make my cow counting a lot easier. I wouldn't have to drive up in here to be able to see if there's a cow over here, but... It's just a work in progress. It'll take time and the right weather. And today ain't it. <laughs> I wish it was, but it ain't. Hmm. Well, I got things coming up to video. We'll be starting a new logging job come Monday. And uh, I'm going to be spreading some organic material maybe the next couple days. Hopefully we get a rain. They're saying it might rain Monday, but if it does rain Monday, we're going to work on putting a loader on one of my tractors that I've had a loader sitting there for a long time. Nobody wants it. It's a good little loader. So I think I'll just put it on one of my tractors and use it. It'd be handy to have a farm tractor to load hay with instead of the yellow tractor. It's, uh, but it's a little bit involved. I got to uh, put some spacer deals between uh, original bracket and the tractor, which is gonna entail quite a lot of hole drilling and some other stuff. So let's see how that irons out. I think it'll all work out fine in the end, but we'll just have to see. Uh, my tractor don't have as long a frame as it needs for the loader, so I'm going to have to build bracketing that makes the loader stick out about 12 inches out in front of the tractor, which is not a big deal. I can build all that. I think I can build it heavy enough. won't have enough trouble, but this is supposed to be five 
to eight mile an hour winds and when i looked a while ago it said we was only having that much but the wind's blowing 15 to 20 out of the east from here and then they're, they're showing a bunch of oklahoma getting some spotty showers right now but we ain't in it it's all south and west of here but uh maybe we'll get some i hope we do man we could use it Make the pasture grow a little bit. So you might get the idea. I'm gonna be sitting here for about the next two or three hours watching this fire, making sure it stays in. I don't think I'll have any trouble keeping it in, but here's the thing. See right there, right there. There's a stump on fire, right there. outside out here there's a stump on fire so and them things will smolder down into the ground for a long time i never did let the cat out of the bag here a while back i bought me a stump grinder to go on a three-point of a tractor pto powered i've been wanting to get over here and try it out I have not had time i've been busy Well, real enjoyable evening, I guess, to sit and watch a fire. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.